Hey guys, it's Nanette with Heart Baby Home. Today we're looking at heart number 48, which has heterotaxy, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, dwarf, TGA, pulmonary atresia, and complete heart block, which we'll look at at the end. I'm going to start with the hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Hypo means under, and plastic is the development. So it's where the left side of the heart is underdeveloped. In this heart, we have a hypoplastic left ventricle. You can see compared to the normal heart, the left ventricle is a lot smaller and underdeveloped. And that's important because the left ventricle usually pumps blood out into the aorta and to the body. We also have mitral valve stenosis, that's the M, and that valve is smaller than normal, which makes it harder for the blood to go from the left atria to the left ventricle. And we also have double outlet right ventricle. In the normal heart, the atria comes out of the left ventricle, but in this heart, both the atria and the pulmonary artery come out of the right ventricle, except that the pulmonary artery has atresia, pulmonary atresia, and that's where that pulmonary valve is completely blocked it's either fused shut or missing, and so no blood is going out into the PDA through that pulmonary valve. Instead, blood can only get in from the PDA, patent ductus arteriosus, and that is an extra pathway that's open when the baby's a fetus, uh, but two to ten days after birth, that will close. So that's going to be a problem for this heart because there won't be a way for blood to get out into the lungs. We also have an ASD, uh, which is good because that allows the oxygen-rich blood to come down into the right atria and eventually get out to the body. Now it should be going out through the left ventricle, like I said. Oh, sorry, ASD is a hole uh, between the right atrium and the left atrium in that septal wall. Then, let's see, we also have... Uh, transposition of the great arteries, TGA, and that's where, so the great arteries, that's the aorta and the pulmonary artery, and so if you look compared to the normal heart, those arteries have switched positions. Okay, and then we also have heterotaxy, and that's where the organs inside your body are in abnormal positions. So sometimes your heart can be on the wrong side or pointing towards the wrong direction. Um, it can also mess, mess up the position of your stomach, your spleen, your liver. There's lots of different types of heterotaxy. So if you want more information, I've left a link on my website for that. Okay, let's talk about that complete heart block. So you can see in green, I've mapped out the electrical system, P, P, Q, Q, R, S, and T. So what happens is the, the ch electrical charge originates at P, and as the charge passes through the different areas of the heart, that's when the heart knows when to squeeze and push the blood to the next area. So it starts at P and coats the atria, and then it pauses at PQ, and that's when the blood has time to leave the atria and go into the ventricles. Now when it gets to Q, that's when the electrical charge splits, and one goes to the left ventricle and one goes to the right ventricle, and that's important because the left ventricle squeezes slightly before the right ventricle squeezes. And then when it gets to T, that's when the electrical charge dissipates, so it kind of resets the heart so that it can start over. So that's how it works in a normal heart. When you have a complete heart block, uh, when it gets to Q, that electrical charge kind of gets lost. Either there's scar tissue there or uh, sometimes it can get kind of messed up when there's been a surgery and sometimes it just happens. And so then the ventricles don't know to squeeze and that is really bad. Um, you can faint, you can, you can die from this if it doesn't restart. Um, so that's why it's important if you have a heart block to get a pacemaker because the pacemaker will tell those ventricles when to squeeze and then your heart will work normally. And 
it looks like that is it for heart number 48. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe to my channel. That helps me so much. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at heartbabyhome.com slash contact. Also, if you need me to draw a new heart image, that's a great place to reach me. I'm also on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you.